Hello! Welcome to Farthest Frontier. Well, yep, it's done it again. It, 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 ooh, it's a bit of a flash there. But it, it went from being red to bright green there in terms of happiness, which is interesting. I love how it does that right at the start of the game. I mean, these lot... Yeah, since there's a shortage of food and there's a shortage of luxury, so... I think that's something I'm going to need to look into. And I noticed... I think in the previous episode there was things we were running out of, which I'll probably have to take care of somehow. <laughs> don't know, don't know how, but somehow, it's something I'll have to think of. But anyway, we're now into year 121 of this gameplay, which is really quite a long time, actually. I've been pondering, why is it I haven't seen anybody turning up trying to smash the gates down with, uh, with battering rams? I mean, to be fair, I mean, well, yeah, the... That's probably me, actually. They do manage to usually break in through the gates anyway, but yeah, I was thinking about that, and then on a previous playthrough that I've just done, we got a like private army suddenly turned up demanding money. So I suspect that those are the ones to look out for. I mean, we get the raiders, so they'll come along and give you grief, but I think it's these private armies that we want to look out for. And I suspect they're only turning up if you've got lots of money. Now, I must admit, I thought I didn't have on that on this map, but it turns out I do. So it's something I'm going to have to bear in mind. Because, yeah, they just suddenly turn up and ask for lots of money. And if you don't pay them, well, it's a case of, well, in that case, um, yeah. Uh, we're we're, we're going to smash your gates down and stay leveling. Now, I am pondering, what, what the heck's going on here? Why? Why would I build a gate outside of the wall? That makes no sense. Okay. No idea what I was doing there, but that's not a good idea. I'll get them to put that there. Oh, no, 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 no. This better not be... Oh, this, this starts complaining that the place is... Uh... Oh, it's too steep. To be honest, I can't remember why I'm actually doing this. Why not? Why am I putting a gate there? Because that is... Oh yes, that's mine. Yes, 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 yes. It's all coming back, eventually. Right, anyway, it's, it's saying it's too uh, it's too steep, so... I'll have a bit of a play with that. Oh, I didn't need to do the whole lot there. Well, we'll get them to flatten that. Hopefully they can get that done pretty quickly, and then we can get the... Um, get that hole in the wall fixed. Yeah. Anyway, what they're complaining about. Right, we haven't got enough clothes apparently. We need 224 hide coats. What? what? Mind you, we've got uh, 35 linen cloth, uh, clothes and 99 pairs of shoes. Oh, it's turning into spring, isn't it? I can see it's going to hit spring and then all of a sudden the raiders will turn up and start wrecking this place. <laughs> Anywho. Let's have a look around, see see what everybody's up to, and actually sort this out because we've got to wait for the next patch for this lot to be automated. Oh, foobar. Yeah. I haven't got enough labourers now. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Died of old age. Oh, good grief. So we're back to the age old problem of like, you haven't got enough people. Right, okay, well, when I had a private army turned up, I had to start getting a lot of people to uh, try and help out, but I need a lot of soldiers, and well, yeah, that that, that come back to bite me. Ah, Fuba, Fuba, I say. Right, there you go. Game's back to normal now. I don't know why it does that. For a while, that, that problem disappeared where it sort of like freezes for a few seconds and then it suddenly springs back up again. It does it right at the start of the game for some strange reason. No idea why, but I thought that I thought that had disappeared, but no, it's back again. Anyway, let's try and plug this gap. Oh, it's still too steep, seriously. Could really do with a decent sort of like terrain uh, terraforming tool. I'm surprised they haven't given us a decent one in this game. 
mean, a lot of the games where they've got some form of terraforming, you can do, like, really, really sophisticated stuff. The basics of being just, like, dig a deep hole or raise the, the height of something, but... Hmm. Oh! Murphy's Law. How many? 81. Okay. Where, the, where, the, where are they? So they're coming down that path there. Yep. <laughs> okay, I need I need the soldiers back then. <laughs> right, we'll get them to go and march over here because otherwise we're gonna get problems. Oh good grief. Why have I got... This is the thing, this, this things change over time. And now all of a sudden that makes no sense. It's still... That is seriously wonky. <laughs> Getting to do some terraforming. Or flattening, that's all we get. We just get a flattening tool, nothing more. Just basic flattening. I mean the roads have got to be at least flat, surely. I wouldn't care, I mean, now is not a, well, yeah, now is not a good time to be getting attacked because I'm running out of people already. I don't like this, I can hear these, I can hear bows and arrows going off in my, in my left ear, suggesting it's on the left, oh, there they are, they're down here, they're attacking down here. So where are you? Oh, you're actually inside. Okay, so they're attacking here, they're attacking there. You know, Greece are attacking from all sorts of places. And it was sneaky, they're not just coming in, like, from that uh, northeast corner, they're coming in all over. And as ever, well, traders decide to turn up as well. It's an interesting game, I'll give it that. It's like, why? <laughs> why are you all turning up at the same time? I mean, on the plus side, it wasn't a bunch of, uh, Private army, yes, yeah, soldiers come to attack. Is there anything I can buy? I mean, I suppose I could buy some, buy some tools. I mean, it's mostly the clothes and what have you that I need. I mean, if clothes are a problem, I mean, we've got, yeah, I mean, don't have a great deal of pelts, I must admit. Oh dear, someone's got a festering wound. That sounds bad. How many of them are there? There's four there. Tell you what, uh, was it? F3. So we've got a raid of thief, a raid of brawler. So they're running away, they've given up. So how's this side doing? So they're all attacking up. Jeez oh, Louise. Tell you what, then. I mean, I'll move them over there, but I, I wonder if they're clever enough to um, come down here. Yeah, they are. Ah, drive. Right, forget that. <laughs> I mean, there is a defense tower there anyway. But, uh, so it seems to be kind of taken care of, but all the same, I think, uh, yeah, just casually walk through, like, can they sort them out? Ooh, one of them broke through. They're gone. Are they all running away now? Have they given up? Looks like they've given up. But I've lost a lot of people, that's the trouble. And I didn't really have enough people to, uh, to begin with. Right, go back to barracks then. Hmm. We lost two buildings. Okay, so I have to pluck that one. Uh, there it is. 
Oh, we're attacking over here. Hold on, I thought it was three buildings got there. Uh... Hmm, okay. So we don't really have enough people, that's the trouble now. It's, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. <laughs> I had this problem early on in the game. That, that all got solved and then... Uh, 34, all I've got is 34 labourers. So that means I'll have to take people off the mining. Grr. We don't care, I mean, it takes like forever and a day for these look to, to mine anything anyway. Let's see, what about over here? So. so, how does that do? It's not complaining now, it seems. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be complaining. Right, have they got anything useful? Oh, hold on, that was to... Is that a buy or sell? Oh, it's just a, uh, no, it's a sell. Yep, all we can do is sell those. So we could buy... Oh, pelts are at a premium. I think I needed something like 200. <laughs> it's just like... Hmm. So, oh yes, oh, good timing. We needed more people as well. 24. See, I mean, it's cheaper for me to buy the actual high coats than it would be to buy the pelts to then. That's just nuts. Like, there's no incentive for me to buy pelts. Except for the fact that I need shoes as well. Where's the... I think, did I put the tannery over here? Because the... All the cows are over here. And that's the weed which makes sense. So who's that? That is the candle shop, which makes sense because the bees are around here. That's the brewery, which makes sense because... Well, yep, yeah, we've got all of the fields around here, so... Where else did I put the tannery? That's another missing feature. Hold on, hold on. Oh, they're fine with spurs. Right, where the... I mean, the tannery doesn't... It should be over here somewhere, I imagine. It's probably there. Oh, there we go. Nope, they're soap shops. <laughs> it's like, this is one... This is another sort of like challenge in this game, is trying to find things. So we've got one tannery, so... You'd need two pelts to produce one hide coat. So yeah, there's just absolutely no incentive to buy those pelts. I mean, they don't sell any shoes. Um, let's go and buy some mortars. We definitely need them. Right, so how are we doing on people? So we're up to 59 now. Right, well, I think what I'll do is I'll go back to those few mines and I'll at least put some more people back in. I mean, I still don't have enough people. Boobah. But yeah, I mean, that, that whole idea of the, the decent terraforming tool, something I was thinking about was that you could essentially like build a moat around the entire place. If you could dig up the outside area, because if, if they can't path to that, you could force them down one specific uh, area to attack. Well, back get in there. But I think that would save me like a lot of, would save me quite a bit of money, because I mean, at the moment I've got all of these defense towers guarding all particular areas just in case they turn up. That does cost quite a bit of money, but if you could literally dig a deep hole, a big trench around the wall, then they'll only be able to attack one specific area, and then you could kind of like line them up, basically, there. That would make life a lot easier, I think. It would save me a lot of money. I'm curious. Um, so there's the... F I don't know if it's possible, or... 
But if I do that, because the from what I can tell, it I suspect when you pick a lower point, they just try to flatten it out, everything else to that low point. Because I managed to more or less flatten this out. I mean, this was a pretty pretty steep area at one point, and it's a lot flatter, but. I'm curious if I can get them to if I can get them to do that. I mean, there's a pond there that would be that would be sort of ideal, really, if you think about it. If you could just literally run a, a literally a moat around the entire place, <laughs> that would be quite fun. Then. I mean, you don't have like bridges in the game, so you couldn't do that. Yeah, you can't like suddenly pull up the drawbridge or anything like that. But it's it would be darn close if you just tap into a pond like that, and then you can get all the water that's just slowly just drain into the into the actual uh, mode that you got oh stroop these are these are actually lowered down all together anyway hmm. oh yeah speaking speaking of which we need another graveyard um okay okay better we better uh, build another one oh, stroop go on then. go and make another one over there then I'm curious. I mean, there are more important things to be doing, but I'm just, I'm just curious to see how far they get on this. Oh no, you've lost interest, have you? Okay, fair. Let's get some more builders then, if I can. Oh no, that's too many. Right, we're right on the edge. So they'll start digging that in. So where, the, where, where will that go to? Will it be... Yeah, it's difficult to say because it's kind of just flattening the area. So I don't know if you could literally get it, get them to just keep digging a hole. Because <laughs> that's what I'm thinking of. Just, just just keep digging a big deep hole the only trouble is now the the road's gone all bunky <laughs> well come on flatten that bit out then right so i've got two two barns i could do with more but if i start pushing into this area that's where the fruit trees are I, mean, I suppose we could start pushing in that direction. That's one possibility, but I think the bigger priority is try and find out where the gaps are. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely not... Definitely falling behind on those things. We're producing more food than we need, interestingly enough. So what are we missing? A lot, right, so not making enough firewood. Not enough gold. Interesting, not producing enough flour, so I suppose I should... Oh, well, I left the cap on the flour then. So what was that? What was that flour cap at? Hold on. Why won't you let me select the cap on the flour? I'm sure I had a cap on how much flour could be produced. Twelve hundred. That's odd that normally you can select that. Ah oh, right, I've got to select that one. So it's got nothing to do with the storage when I've got to select that one. So if I click on that, left click on that, I can set it. So if we set the cap at fifteen hundred, oops. Yeah, we'll set the cap at fifteen hundred. I'll keep them busy, but at least they can sort that out. Oh no! Every time the walls get knocked down, there's a deer seems to end up in here. Where is the little rascal? Right, there's one there. Now, wherever she is, oh, as soon as you click on her portrait, right, you go back to wherever she is. Go and take care of the deer. 
So there was, it might be the same one. Yeah, it's quite possible it's the same. Uh, just the one of them. Yeah, if you if you click on that icon there, that shows you like deer. Ah, oh, it is showing you them. Yeah, it is still showing you that one in there. Oh, that's useful. That. That is useful. So where is right? Where she gone then? <laughs> now I've lost it. There it is. Go and take that one out. And then they won't keep eating all the crops. Right, now that's that one sorted. Yeah, I don't know if that's been fixed because last time I was trying that, I could see the ones that were outside, but I couldn't see the ones that were. Well, sort of like inside. But anyway, that was useful anyway. Uh, let's see. So somebody else has died to plug all these gaps again. Oh, now I'll have to take some more people off the... Off his builders. Right, that fills that gap. I think it tells you it tells you somewhere what the actual not not in there. So yeah, there's definitely something that actually tells you what. To, oh, it's in here, possibly. Yeah, it's this one here. I mean, that's quite useful because it tells you what the population growth is. So. Uh, Declining at a rate of 10, growing at a rate of 15. But most of it's due to immigrations, which I suppose in a game like this, it's kind of useful that you don't end up in a situation where like the, the population's growing too quickly. On the other hand, it's a case of, well, yeah, everyone's dying of old age and we're running out of people. <laughs> it's a, yeah, a bit of a tricky one to have. A juggle. I don't think it's gonna I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna I wanna keep trying it just out of curiosity just to see if I can get them to dig a hole. Right, so that gap's being plugged, so that at least at least gives me something because I must have I must have been running out of uh, coal. There's two people in there. It's actually quite convenient, really, when you think about it. It's, it's right next to where all the, all the industry is. Right, so... I need a road. That'll do. I mean... I say it'll do, it's... It's like, it's not... It's not ideal. At least I'll keep them occupied. Broken bones. Yeah, I'm running out. <laughs> I want to just keep running out of people at this rate. I need. It's exactly the same situation I had really early on. Just kept running out of people. Just didn't have enough people for the, the size of the village. Oh, wow, I've only got one month's supply of food. That's not good. I'm going to have to rely on these traders. Speaking of which, one of them's just turned up. I wonder if... Ah, oh, no, that's an improvement, that one. Now, this time around, I can actually see the whole person. Just about. So it looks like they might have fixed that bit. This, that was a bit of a weird one, I must admit. At least this time around, I can, I can just about make them out. Let's chop these trees down. Can we chop these trees down? Chop them down. Right, hopefully they've got some shoes. Normally he sells like high-end stuff. These, you know, like the um, hauberks and the heavy weapons, but... Yeah. Yeah. 
nothing jumps out. Still not producing enough fish, which is surprising. Space so there's not really a great deal I can buy from them, and not a great deal I can sell to them. Fair enough. I'll have to wait until the next one turns up. But this is the trouble now: is that I don't have enough people working as builders. Oh, good grief! All labourers to be able to transfer things around. That does not look flat flat. I mean, I've said to make it flat, but it's not that flat. Oh, somebody else. Yeah, it's not enough labourers. Right, what does this one got? Can you sell me some shoes? No, you can't. Uh, what about pelts? Oh, one time somebody turns up with plate mail. Ooh, at 9.42 and I don't have any. Um, well, I can't afford to sell these now. So I may as well just keep them in stock. No, nothing there that I need either. Oh. Is that going to be the old coal mine? Oh, it's an iron mine. Oh, grr. Well, I suppose on the plus side, it's going to free up some... It's going to free up some people. I'll look for another one. Oh, what do you know? There's one up there. That one yields nothing. Zip. Nada. Yeah, it says 407. That is just weird. These are weird icons. Okay, so I'm not too fussed about that one going right. Well, I'll, I think I'll take that road out and free up some stone at least. Um, we'll put some more people into that mine. That'll do for now. It'll, it'll have to do for now. I'm pretty sure I'm... Ah, that one here. Yeah, that one's just about to run out. So that'll free up some more people. I wouldn't care. I wanted to build another gold mine because it's taking so long to, to produce any gold. I mean, you can get a good amount of actual gold ingots out of the gold ore, but... No, it's just so slow. Let's have a look. Nope. Nope, 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 and nope. Still nope. So that's a problem. That's just going to get worse. If they don't keep, keep on top of that, everybody will start to abandon the place. I don't think this is going to work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep trying, but plus it's giving me a wonky road now. The road's just ending up. Ugh. So yeah, that's something they definitely need to, to do is give you proper terraforming to, uh, tools. Oh dear, something's on fire. Is it somebody's house? Oh wow. Yeah, that was somebody's house is on fire. That's one thing I've seen, I must admit. I've never... I think it does, like, jump from building to building the fire, but... I never really get... Well, yeah, touch wood. I've never seen a situation where it actually gets completely out of hand. Not again. That, that's something... I think that gets fixed in the next patch. I think. Seriously annoying. Right, let's put get them to put them in here. Otherwise, they'll just. I think they actually start doing the, uh, the tools instead. I must admit. Oh, 
Hold on. Why are they producing heavy tools? That's another thing I don't I can't get my head around is this production ratio. I mean they've they've been specifically told don't do any weapons, don't do any heavy heavy tools. Well yeah, don't do any weapons, don't do any heavy tools, just focus on tools, and yet somehow we end up with extra heavy uh, heavy tools. Very odd. I mean, to be fair, the game's still in early access. Hang on, how how many coal mines are there? Oh. oh wow, that's two coal mines are about to run out. Hang on, ninety. 33 of 93. That makes no sense. Why would a miner... Why would I bother mining something if there was only 93 coal to get out of it? That is just plain weird. I mean, there's, what, six people in there. Two people in there. <laughs> desperate times, I suppose, called for desperate measures. But uh, yeah, that, that's something I still do with sorting. Is you, it's very difficult to find out what types of buildings you got, like how many numbers of buildings. I keep ranting on about it, but for whatever reason, they're just not. I don't know. Maybe there's no incentive to, to try and fix that sort of thing. Because that's what you want to be able to do: is go and find specific types of buildings. How many of these types of buildings have I got? Another wibbly wobbly wood. Hmm. I'm not a fan of wibbly wobbly woods. You don't notice it if you're playing on a flat map, but on this, on this, which is like um, a very hilly area, it's like mountainous area. It's Have they actually? I mean, we're. I mean, I'm assuming they're actually doing something to flatten it because this road's getting worse by the minute. I mean... I don't know, I don't, I don't know if it's possible to just, like, dig a hole. Because I was getting the impression that if I start at that point, and get them to work in that direction then it'll start to flatten out with the depth of here it looks like it is to a certain extent because that suddenly got pulled down I mean if I go off in that direction Might pull the road back in the direction again. Yeah. They're definitely doing something. I just can't quite tell what. So they're straightening the road out and then. Hmm. That is weird. That just ends up weirder by the minute. Right, let's keep trying. I'm just going to keep trying this because I'm just. I'm just curious to see what happens. <laughs> I don't think it's, as I say, unless they, unless they give you proper terraforming tools, I don't think it's possible, but you can, all you can do is try. Right, so we'll wait for the trader to turn up, because, well, we're not producing enough, we're not producing enough pelts, and we're not, well, it's not a lot of producing, quite frankly, at this rate. Um, let's see, produce materials, so, well, now this time we're ahead on firewood. And we're almost keeping up with gold. Let's see a flower, because I, I told them to produce more flour. We're not keeping up on the iron. Let's run out the mining then. So coal's ahead. So that's okay. Oh, we've run out of clay. Oh, that's it. This place doesn't produce clay. Yeah, we, I forgot we've run out of clay on this map. Ooh, bar. Where are these? Seriously, there's only 12 coal left. And 
plug some of these gaps. So I can get somebody to clean these two out. So there's ten there and there's ten there. So those two should be finished, sure. Have you got any shoes? I need shoes. Shoes? No. Pelts? Maybe? Somewhere? Okay, well, I'll buy some. I think I'll just buy some of these because we Oh, you haven't got enough. I was wondering why I'm, I was trying to trying to buy 40 and I'm thinking why wouldn't let me buy them? He's just playing out of them. So they've got a limit as to how much like gold they've got available and there's also a limit as to how many resources that they're carrying. Right, okay, well let's go back to our mines and see. See if we can get them to finish these off. I mean you do get a warning. A little warning will pop up and tell you if a, if a miner's actually run out of resources. I mean, we're down to 9 of 93, 9 of 2. Oh. oh, has this one got any shoes? Seriously, I need some shoes. No, um, I wanted to buy shoes. Seems everybody's out of shoes at the moment. Oh, you're kidding me. Now is not the time. How many this time? 73 because the trouble is usually i end up with people getting killed by them <laughs> it's a... the one thing i don't have is lots of people where have they gone are they down here are they oh whoa. <laughs> that's a lot they've completely wrecked this place oh, oh hello why, why, why take out the rat cat? I mean, seriously, I mean, why attack the rat catcher? <laughs> of, all, of all the types of buildings that can wreck, I mean, why a rat I can understand that because you're trying to, like, steal a food, but a rat catcher? I mean, I don't even actually keep any. Right, so you're saying there's a, there's a shortage. Workers are unable to work because they're sick. Okay. Workers are unable to work because they're sick. So they were trying to battle off a, an army. Oh, not again. Now I've got another deer. Little bascal. Not as bad as the rarest. Shh. That is a lot of people. That. I. That. That's a lot. <laughs> I, mean, I think it said there's like 117 or something. Oh, it's 73 now. Right, okay. I don't think we've got many many soldiers, though. I mean... I'll bring them over here. I mean, they can... They can take it on the chin, I suppose. I mean, at least the... At least, at least the, um, the towers will keep them a bit busy. A bit. So they're heading down to... Seriously, what are you attacking? Oh, you're just attacking the people. Oh, okay, fair enough. Let's see how many of these are. So once they once they clear these out, then hopefully they'll, they'll free those towers up and they can focus on that lot. They're going to completely wreck that tower. I wouldn't care. The towers are not cheap. Ah, grr. You could do with more powerful gates, I suppose. Oh no! <laughs> it's the deer back in again. Ah, oh, sherbet dip. That is seriously annoying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for the um, little notification. You do get a notification to tell you how many, you know, how many things, how many people got killed, how many you killed, and so on. But we also. Will essentially tell you like you know what was stolen as well so most of the time these things they all turn up and they achieve next to nothing other than wrecking the place right, let's see we'll have to rebuild that it looks like that's what it did 75 golds iron as well 
Grr. Yeah, you, you, you kind of like on the edge when you say I'm anyway. I'm, I'm right on the edge though in terms of like the number of people I've got. I need more people. Get things done. And then these raiders are coming along. So if they're not dying of old age, then they, the raiders are coming and killing them. That's what I could do with a moat. No, I, oh, you can buy them. Oh, yes, I can. Anyway, let's buy. You've only got 79 anyway. Right, at least we can try and make some shoes. Can I buy some of them? I've got nothing to sell. This is, this is getting seriously bad now. <laughs> oh, there you go. Village was raided. Right. See? 73 of them turned up. They killed one of my villagers, they destroyed four of the buildings, and they achieved absolutely nothing in terms of stealing anything. <laughs> Why? Why are they doing that? The artificial intelligence isn't that good. They're not, they're not achieving anything. Why, why do you want to just go around and kill yourself? See, that's another thing. Now I end up with a bunch of deer now. I'm going to eat all the crops. This is just plain evil. It's evil for evil's sake. Right, let's see if I can find... Where are these pesky deer? Right, there's one in there. Let's see if we can get a hundred of them to clear that one out. Where the heck did it go? Where's the deer? I mean, I could get it to, to try and focus in this area. Where is it? Ah, oh, it's on the path. It would be useful if it kept that highlighted where it doesn't. Where's did I see it? It, it? it was running down the path at some point. Ah, there it is. Right, if she can clear that out. What the heck was that? What was a boar? I just heard a squeal and I'm thinking, oh, what the heck was that? Right, so this is going to free up some people. So that's a good thing. The only trouble is that we're going to get enough fair coal now. I'm not seeing any of them. That's some, that's some stone over there. That's an iron line. Right, so how many people have we got? 52. So I think that, I think we're right about 46, I think was about the limit. That's how many labourers I need. Let's have a look. Ooh, 48, just about. Let's go and have a look at our little moat and see how we're doing. Uh, no. I think they would still just path through this. That's as far back as I can go. Oh, I was really hoping I could sort of tap into the um, the pond here, and then we'll get the water to like go all the way around, and then we won't be able to get in. I think that'll be really cool. <laughs> oh, good grief! Stop, stop dying of old age. I don't have enough people. Stop it. Oh, seventeen people are joining! Yay! That was good timing. So now on four forty-nine of a possible four seventy-one. That's interesting. Four hundred twenty-two are fit to work. You know, like lower the age and start getting all the children to join in as well. I mean, that would be beneficial. For me, not obviously for them, like, I mean... 26 still want to do. Hmm. Right, so... Have you reached production? Oh, we haven't got any grain. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Good grief. Are we not producing enough grain? How, how come we're not producing enough grain? I'm sure I've built all these extra fields to, to get on, did I? Maybe I'm not. Ah. All ah, right, okay, so they finished the weeding, so in which case... Ah, I'm glad, that, I'm glad I noticed that now, because I can take these extra farms off. So what comes after turnips? Turnips, turnips... Oh, it's just clover. Oh, okay. I was getting really excited then. I thought, oh, wow, we'll be able to get more food. Oh, I can't move that yet. Little sticks. So we can do that one. Not enough room to add crops. Yes, there is. Yeah, I'll have to, I think I have to wait. I'll have to wait until the season's finished to get to be able to move the farmer. Oh, actually, I actually haven't said that. It was that one I wanted to do anyway, wasn't it? Right, so we put that one in. Yes, there is. We'll put that in there. So carrots then what comes after carrots. More clover. So take that one out. Yes there is. There's room. Make room. It's just carrots. It's just carrots and clover. Okay, fair enough. I take it back, there isn't enough room. <laughs> so that one. Don't need that. So why? That's ten percent, ten percent, ten percent, ten percent, ten percent, ten percent. So the fields are okay for like the soil mixture. Well, that's a thought. What about the leaks? There must be fields around here where I'm going. Leaks then. Leaks then clover. So why am I doing farming then? Hmm. Take that one out. So what are the leaks like? Leaks. Yeah, they've got a good tolerance to frost. Over to there, and then add the clover at the end there. Hmm, interesting. So it looks like we weren't producing enough uh, grain. Grain, 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 grain. Yeah, we're not producing enough grain. Hmm. So where did the fields? I don't think I've got enough room to squeeze another field in there. Nope, didn't want to do that. Fields. So that's... Lousy fertility. Yeah, I'd have to push the walls out further. I mean, it looks like to be a good place for... for growing... like, fruit. Where's the fruity one? Barns and arbor. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the arborist. So they, they're okay for, for, like, if you want more fruit, but I don't think the fruit's lasting. That's a trouble. Fruit, 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 fruit. So, mm, too, not too far off. I mean, That's a thought. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not enough food. Yeah. That, that's a bit of a problem, then. And we're running out of money. Okay. So there's, there's some problems going on here. Transfer some money over to the three. No, not 100. 100's not going to pull it. We need 1,000. Right, that'll keep them on their toes. Hmm. I mean, I could, I could.
could convert them over to a fruit only diet, I suppose. That, that could be useful. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should do. Just have them eat nothing but fruit. I mean, how much? Oh, hello. What have you got? Well, I'll sell the beer off because most people get a bit peeved and they start drinking and they start. Well, eh, if it's not the raiders wrecking the place, it's the people who are intoxicated are doing it. Uh, so I was going to have a look at and see how much. How much meat are we producing? Because what I was thinking of doing is introducing an extra farm, uh, an extra barn. Hmm. I mean, fertility levels in this place suck. <laughs> I guess it's a hilly area. I mean, it's a, yeah, I mean, I could go back to putting the fields in there, I suppose. I mean. Yeah, you're not going to get much out of this place for fertility. Have you got any shoes? Useful if anybody came along and started selling shoes for a change. Nope. They're not selling any shoes either. Uh, I mean, we've got a lot of coal. I mean... May as well make some money out of this. I don't see anything over here either. Well, that's a thought, actually. I've got to check and see if any of them can offer any, any food, actually, now that I think about it. It's, food's a big, suddenly become a big problem. Oh, it's weird, because, I mean, we've been keeping on top of it okay, so... I mean... I mean, we've been, I'm pretty sure we've been losing more uh, people than we've been gaining, so... Hold on, how much were, how much were you selling it for? Yeah, you're both selling it for four. I mean, I may as well get them something to eat. I mean, to be fair, it's spring anyway. As soon as the as soon as the fields uh, get done, it should be fine. Don't really want to spoil that area, so I think I might start heading in this direction. I mean, it gets in the way of these. I mean, that's that one. I don't want to say they're not finding any meat. It's odd because there's... I mean... Maybe it's me. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of actual deer. Oh, the building's got no food. <laughs> Seriously. you got all these deer here and you're complaining that you don't have any food. Produced 372 meat in the last year. I don't know. Bizarre. Okay. That is bizarre. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to have to start expanding this. I'm going to have to get more fields. So the fruity, fruity things are going to go in that direction. And the vegetable things will go in this direction. But I'll have to expand the well. I don't necessarily have to expand, it's just the, like the OCD in me has to have the... I'd have to have the road running down there. And I'd end up with a big gap, you see. I'm not... Well, I suppose that's not too bad. It's what I could do. If we run the road down behind this field here... And convince myself to put some more. I mean, I suppose we could put the bees, more bees on this side, and then we could run the. F yeah, you'd end up with a gap, though. I don't like that. <laughs> but they need food. The 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 they're in dire need of food. So it is what it is. Right, so this is the trouble you can't 
You can't move a field. I haven't said that. You can resize a field now, can't you? Ah. Oh no, you can't delete it. Yeah, you can increase it, but you can't. So if I click on that to expand the field, I could expand it on probably on one side down there, for instance. Yeah, let's do that then. So, can we get it to build a field in this direction? So that's seven, seven by five by six. Yeah, that'll do. And I'll do another one over here. So that's six by eight, six by seven. And we'll do another one here. That's eight, six. Yeah, that'll do. Because then I can then I can expand it on that side, so then it'll be seven by seven. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Anyway, how is our mode coming along? Yep, I thought as much. It's it's just not achieving anything. It's a bit of a shame. I, I really like the idea of having a mode. Being able to drain the pond, essentially. I mean, I don't know what happened to all the fish, but I, I, would, I would have been curious to see if I could have get the pond to drain into our little moat and go all the way around the actual... A village and then would be able to stop these pesky raiders coming along and causing mischief and mayhem. That would have been a cool idea. I don't think the developers probably planned that, but you know. It was worth trying. Speaking of which, I get these roads straightening up as well. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's the same traveling, traveling merchant as before. Oh, let me take us. That's only. Oh, yes, it's we're getting it into spring, that's why. So we've got three months worth of food. Good. So hold on, we went from practically nothing to 977 meat. Where's all the fruit gone? So it looks like we're going to have to get more. Yeah, we're going to have to give them more fruit in their diet, then, after all. So I suppose that's what you do. You check the storage and see what you've got. So you've got... Hang on, Where are all those? We had, just a few seconds ago, we had over a thousand uh, fruit. That is just plain weird. Right. What have you got to sell me? No, I don't want to sell your shoes i need to buy shoes <laughs> Grr, this, this is the trouble you're, you're literally at the mercy of the traders it just depends on whatever they can be bothered to carry maybe it's the same with maybe it's a it's a case of like the um every other village that's been created like this isn't this exactly the same problem everybody's running out of shoes and coats and it's a case of no one's got anything no, nobody's got any of them to sell uh, Bar. Right, well, I'm going to leave them to get on with their field. I think I'll have one last check. Yeah, I think this has been a bit of a waste of effort, really. I mean, it kept them occupied, I suppose. Unless I do it in a shorter burst, if you will. Go. Flatten that road. Oh, good grief. Now the road's looking seriously bad. <laughs> oh, no. This is looking horrific. It's like, uh, no, it's not flat. It's not flat at all over there. Can you prioritise these? No. Yes, you can. Let's prioritise that then. So I'm just curious to see if they can get that flatter. I mean, it's not a great deal to do there. Is it going to be flatter? Can you can you dig a deep hole? Like, 
all the way down to the centre. Ooh. Almost, you nearly got there. So if we get them to do... So that's a 12. So it does seem to be getting lower. If I give them that to do. It's quite deep. Oh, no. oh crops ready for assignment. Okay. So I'll have to assign crops to these fields already. Jeez Louise. So I think it was... Whichever one's doing it, who's the green one? So that one is mostly green. No, it's not that one. Should be... Should be one that was... Oh, I was alternating between green and... Um, uh, Fuba. Yeah, I was obviously alternating, alternating between green and uh, the green and the uh, the flax seeds, which I don't think they need any more flax. But because the trouble is, is trying to get the soil mixtures right. Ah, oh, that's something I'll have to think about. In the meantime, I just want to finish off and find out is this going to end up any flatter. I mean, it looks, I mean, that point there does look to be lower than that point there, but yeah, I think that's, that's, maybe that's about as best I can do for now. Until they can give us better terraforming tools, there's not a lot of choice. Anywho, I think that's the priority then. These people need food. Of course, that's all for another episode.